Today I'm just going to offer a little guided meditation. You've likely been sent this video by me having already seen me as a patient and felt it appropriate and helpful to have my voice and as a reminder. Ultimately, in time, it's hoped that you will gain the skills you can take with you for life. To be more connected to your body, to bring about an inner peace and to stay well and heal from any pain and illness you have. So begin by closing the eyes. You may do this lying or sitting. In time you'll learn the skill to connect to your body anytime and anywhere. But as you learn Create the environment. Take some time for yourself. Grant yourself that time. Lie down or sit. Probably the most powerful way of changing and shifting our nervous system in any given moment is through the breath. There are many forms of breath work. But certainly the out-breath is more sedating to the nervous system than an in-breath. Obviously we need both. But concentrate on the out-breath. The out-breath should be at least two to three times as long as the in-breath. But it's important not to create stress by trying. I prefer to think about allowing. And if it helps, imagine the sea standing on a beach with the waves lapping at your feet. And waves typically come in with a surge and then somehow roll out back across the sand out and out and out, almost rolling out underneath the incoming wave. So as you breathe in, notice there's a slight increase in tension in the body, in all of us, everywhere. Obviously felt in the shoulders, but if you pay attention, you'll notice it possibly in your back, even your hips. And as you become more and more skilled, you may even notice that tension change in your forearms and your lower legs. And as you breathe out, notice the softening of the body and enjoy that feeling. And you'll notice that the more you do that, there's a lovely sense of relief. And then I'm going to invite you to scan down the body. And before we do this together, just a note. Of course, emotions can be locked up in the body and sometimes if we access these body areas, then we might find that there's difficult emotions there. Or it might even cause you to dissociate and tremor or shake. So if you find difficulties in areas or as you scan down and you feel uncomfortable in entering those spaces, then don't go there. You'll gain much from working on the other areas of the body. But if you've worked with me and you have some skills of regulating yourself, 
so you don't find it overwhelming, then perhaps gently lean into those difficult areas and use the skills I've taught you to cope with those difficult thoughts and feelings which come up. So begin perhaps at the top of the head, scan down through the space you call your head, through the neck and the shoulders, the upper chest, solar plexus into the tummy and the abdomen, lower back into the pelvis and then down one leg and then the other and then you can do the same exercise with the arms when you feel ready don't look for pain in fact try not to make that your focus if there is pain yes register it but try to go deeper into the sense of the body. If we close our eyes, then we just know that we have two legs and two arms, and we can feel that. Now you think about it, your arms don't have a hard edge. They blend with the room somehow, but you do know that they're yours. So ask yourself, the qualities, is it big, is it small, is it expansive, is it warm, cool? If it were a tube, then how wide is it? What was it filled of? Is it filled with marshmallows? Is it filled with rocks? Is it full of air? Does it buzz? Does it tingle? Does it have a colour? Is it just difficult to see? Does one lay heavy on the table or on the floor or the chair arm more than the other one does? And just notice, notice the difference. Sometimes helps to scan quickly through the body rather than focusing. So a first pass down quite quick and just notice rather like a, a needle on an old record. Where does it get stuck? And then just give it a little nudge past and move on and see if it becomes stuck elsewhere. Then when you find these areas, and if you feel comfortable to work on these areas, then there's a number of things we can do. We can focus on the opposite side and actually interestingly focusing on the side which feels nicer, the side which feels more at ease, will interestingly have a profound effect on the opposite side. But sometimes you might choose to work directly into the difficult blocked areas and congested areas. As I say, if you feel comfortable and it's not triggering in you in any way, then there's a number of things you can do, perhaps. Just sit and be and look in that and maintain your focus in that space. And with patience and no desire, You may notice that that changes and softens. You might feel something give. Just follow those sensations. You might feel a bit of an ache come up. Just follow it and stay with it. Sometimes things will ease and then seem to plateau. Perhaps you might need then to go to another area that you found with some congestion. And interestingly, you might find that if you work on the hip, it then releases the hip, but also has an impact on the shoulder problem, which seemed to plateau. What's really important is 
you don't try too hard to want or to become in any way frustrated with it. For that, I can tell you from personal experience, usually makes it worse. You may have been guided by me in the past to use visualization and perhaps see what this space looks like and perhaps some imagery comes up which might be symbolic. It's probably best to work more somatically with me on that so that we can support whatever comes up for you. But for now, just enjoy the body scanning. And I hope already that you're finding some things change in the body and some things soften. And just remember, any change is good and like all things, it takes practice. And if those areas soften, they might tighten again tomorrow because old patterns have probably been there for a very, very long time. So be patient with yourself. Those of you who know me well, know much of that which I practice and have learned has come from my own personal journey of living with chronic pain for 10 years. Exploring and finding ways to heal myself. Physician, heal thyself. After the medical intervention had saved me initially. The healing and way of getting off medication for me was a long, long journey involving many, many therapies and much hard self-work and diligence. So be patient with yourself and keep going. And there'll be good days and bad days, but just keep practicing. Offer compassion to your body and send it love, not hate. This, our body is our friend, carries you around. The you that's inside, the you that feels the vessel must be cared for so that the vessel can care for you. So when we feel that it's letting us down, perhaps it's trying to talk to us and we weren't listening. Perhaps Consider it a child who's frightened, a child who's hurting. You probably ought not tell it off. Now is the time for understanding, for a cuddle, for an arm around the shoulder, for a listening ear, for love and understanding and compassion. Not for frustration, irritation and beating yourself up. So if already you feel different to when you began, then well done. You are getting it right. I'll leave you now to continue for as long as you feel you wish. You could easily spend 20 minutes, perhaps a little more, and it would definitely not be wasted time.
In fact, it might be some of the best time that you have spent. Thank you for listening. I wish you well.